What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another exciting Pokemon Ultra Sun playthrough. My name, of course, is Blaze, and uh, today um, it is actually the, the real life uh, corrected uh, episode 12. I think I said it was episode 12 ye yesterday. I think I said it was like episode uh, 11 or 10 when it was definitely not episode 11 or 10. But this is like totally legit episode 12 of Pokemon Ultra Sun, and today we're gonna go through and take on some more challenges in the um on the third island i don't really know exactly i forget what happens here because I, I did it once a long time ago I, I don't remember at all what happens so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right in i have 110 pokemon in the pokedex i think there's like 450 now so i totally forgot i saved it right here i just i could not even remember where i saved the game so here we are and uh let's see let's go ahead and jump in here see what's going on so this is the oh lily comes up of course she's probably gonna heal my pokemon i think i just used a bunch of items to heal all my pokemon so sorry i'm not very good at running <laughs> she's like so sad it looks like we're nearly at to the altar now aren't we blaze let me take care of primarina for you i knew she was gonna do this so i think this is where we get in touch with uh the pokemon um Sogaleo at this point when your Pokemon are full of energy then a trainer can go anywhere in the world doesn't it seem that way yes it, it does I guess so I, I complained a little bit about that yesterday um, I complained that uh, it seems like in this game whenever you get into trouble and you don't really have your team like full health um, someone comes along and just heals your Pokemon for you so that's that's both good and bad I think it's more bad um, so, you know, um, hopefully they'll kind of rearrange that in, in the future, but faint letters can just barely be made out, carved into the ancient stone monument. Ahead lies a sacred ground of trials. None who do not take part in its trials will be allowed to walk upon this earth. What? None who do not take part... That's like a that's a double negative. That doesn't doesn't that just mean uh, people who do not take part, <laughs> or everyone who takes part in its trials will be allowed to walk upon this earth? That's but people who don't take the trial can walk upon this earth. What are you saying to me right now? Those lacking the courage to defeat the totem guardian, this land will be denied entry. Okay. But those who believe in their Pokemon and walk beside them shall gain great power. There's no captain to be found, but it seems like you stand at the edge of a trial site. Are you ready to challenge the trial? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So this is where I'm asking my Pokedex what it's doing. Um, I don't care. I'm just wanting to do. I want to do the Roto Loto real quick. The Roto Loto. Um, one of my least favorite things that you can do with the Pokedex right now. I mean, my, my least favorite thing is talking to it in general, but uh, we'll go ahead and spin the lottery and get berries, I guess. What is that? Look at that. It's an amazing power. Roto HP restores. Okay. I don't even want those. You feel a piercing gaze. It seems to cut right through you. But from where... Uh oh. <laughs> Pokemon battle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jangmo. -Oh. I can't catch him yet, I don't think. Otherwise, I would definitely try to. Uh, so I'll be on for a couple hours here, uh, trying to uh, finish up this last trial and any other things I need to do in the game. Um, but I think we'll be okay. I didn't fight any, like, you feel an even fiercer gaze than before. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, uh, this whole trial. Because I feel like it's really, like, easy for the most part. Um, let's see. I remember doing it before. And I thought that they were going to do something different with the trials. Where you actually had a trial captain on this one. But they don't seem to be doing that. So... 
I don't know what's going on. It's Hakamo. Oh. Uh, but this is another example of how the game is basically the same game as before, but I'm still playing it. I'm still having a good time, so I'm not really going to be too upset. Oh, he's not dead yet. Attack Rose, special attack Rose, Hyper Voice. He's gone. So Jengma O is a, a dragon type. I mean, <laughs> as evident by ice attacks being super effective. The fiercest pair of eyes imaginable drilling into you relentlessly. That's creepy, bro. Come on, man. I'm trying to get this uh, orb. You know, I never tried to not grab the this thing. I wonder if if I just if I decided not to get it, would I just be able to go ahead? Sound. <laughs> he says sound. Como o. Its aura fled to flared to life. Its stats rose. Sweet. So, Icy Wind, <laughs> and even if, oh no, he's Fairy-type, oh no, uh-oh, he might be in trouble, oh my gosh, that did nothing, I might be in trouble, this could be bad, <laughs> we'll see, oh, Noivern. Especially since Icy Wind, although it'll hit both of them, I don't think it's going to do... Ah, uh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Okay. So I'm going to try Lycanroc first. And it's going to be tougher. Because Noivern's going to try to screech me. Oh, you know what I can do though? I can sand attack on Como O. And I think that would actually be really good. Oh no. Gosh. For being like a, a, a really basic attack, sand attack does a ton of uh, reduction in evasiveness, so. or in accuracy, rather, so. Oh no, well he's dead. Alright, so now... Gotta use something else. I don't really have... Anything special in mind. This actually might be a really tough battle for me. I'm gonna have to use a lot of... Uh, um, items here. Rock type. Maybe this will work. Especially with Screech hitting me. Screech is gonna lower it's gonna lower my, my defense a lot. And Dragon Claw, if it hits me, will be terrible. Starliot's here. How's it going, Starliot? Thank you for joining today. Really appreciate you stopping by. Oh, soundproof. Okay. And... Oh, he hit me. Goodness. So I'm going to switch out. And maybe try to heal him. Uh, let's see. Let's, tr let's try two cannon. I think a screech on two cannon would be good too. If I can pull one off. One or two. That'd be ideal. Either way. Uh, is he not dead? Okay, good. Screech. Right here. Oh, no! Oh, gosh. Don't be paralyzed. Okay, good. Okay, never mind. So, that didn't work either. 
I don't really have anything I can do. He's going to get the first attack. And... I'm going to try to roost. I don't think it's going to work, though. Oh, paralyzed. Let me just... Do I have a, a full... Uh, do I have a... Uh, I don't have a full restore. I don't have any items. I have revi revive, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Uh... Well, let me just let me use this as an opportunity to heal my Ampharos. How about that? Um... Gosh, I really don't have anything. I should have grabbed some items before I went into this battle. I did not even think about it at all. Um, so now... I have to stick with these... With these silly items to try to help out. Ouch. Okay, so next up... I'm going back to Ampharos. Ampharos. Amp Ampharos. I'm not really sure how to say it. It's one of those things. So Power Gym might do something here. I don't know if it will. Nope. It's not doing anything. So I need to switch out again. Uh, let's go with Revive. Oh, you know what? I need to... I need to paralyze real quick. That that would work. Let's do that first. Because I don't want to waste an attack there. So I don't really have an advantage or anything yet, but this way at least I can I can start playing the revive game and bringing people back to life. This is probably going to be the hardest battle for me. Um, I don't. I don't want to use Max Revive on that. Not yet. I'm gonna save Max Revive for uh, Primarina when I need it. Let's go ahead and revive to Cannon because I feel like Drill Peck would be good. And we'll go ahead and use Signal Beam. Might be good too. I didn't think about using signal beam. Okay, never mind. It's not very effective either. I just can't win. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Thunder Punch is also not very effective. I already know this. But I just want to get his uh, HP down a little bit. So... Uh, you know what? Oh, I could have used Toxic. That would have been better. That's okay. We're gonna go with Primarina. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm being real silly right now because I know that Moonblast is definitely gonna do the trick. And with Primarina being a um, fairy type and using a fairy type move, uh, it's gonna be super, I mean, just, like, super duper effective. Like, way more than just super effective, so. I was being kind of a doofus there. I'm not worried about the Scizor. I feel like I should be. But as long as I get to go first, and I do, I'll get the KO on the Totem Pokemon. Because he was paralyzed, I got to go first. Um, Scizor will do whatever he wants. It's not going to matter, because I still have uh, a strong fire type that can take out the competition. So, um, I'm going to use Sparkling Aria. Why not? Sure. Uh-oh. Well, it worked, so there we go. Cool. Oh, Dragon Pulse. What's that do? 
Dragon pulls to target his attack with a shockwave generated by the user's gaping mouth. 85 damage. It's better than Dragon Rage. Peace. Peace, Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is like super helpful at lower levels because it, it does 40 damage and most Pokemon at lower levels don't have that much HP. But at higher levels, it's really hard to use effectively. So, uh, Como O hit itself somewhere in the deepest reaches of the valley. That's too bad. I wanted to catch it. Oh well. I'll have to at some point anyway to fill the Pokedex. So, I think that was the last trial. I think. You obtained a dragon type Z crystal. The Dragonium Z is yours. My Pokedex is talking to me. And I don't know if I expressed that before, but I don't I don't like the talking Pokedex. I think it's just really it's it's just it's excessive. They they I don't know, they could have programmed something else into the game. So here we are at the altar of the sun. In the last episode, Lily's Lily's parents, or at least her mom, was taken into a, another dimension. I mean, she went in there by herself, so really, I mean, she chose to go in there, but she wants to save her, so that's where we are. Our history tells us that the Vast Pony Canyon trial was the very first trial ever to be held. That's a tough trial. You did a fine job clearing it, just as expected, Blaze. You've cleared your seventh trial in Alola's Island Challenge now. That's wonderful. You've pushed yourself beyond your limits and really become a great trainer, haven't you? And you could never have done it without you, Primarina. Let me heal you up real quick. Thank you. Look at the two of you. I think this might just work out. No, I'm quite sure of it. <laughs> the sun flute and the moon flute, if we sound both together. Let's go, Blaze. You're the boss. <laughs> Let's go. So I don't, you can't really see what's down there, but this staircase this doesn't really seem practical. I mean, I don't know how else you would build this um, to get up here, but it really doesn't seem practical. I think there's something over here, right? I can't remember. So Pokemon Sun and Moon are basically the same game. So a lot of the things that I remember from... Sun and Moon are still present in Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, I can feel the strong power of the sun. Nebby, before I can return you back to your original form, I've got to go find my mother. I have to tell her. I have to tell her how I feel. And then we can find a way to stand against Necrozma together. The Moon Flute. It feels like it was made to fit my hand. I think I can play it. Uh, that's odd. It's kind of like um, in the in Man of Steel when Superman's super suit was just made for his body, and it's been like they had no idea what he grew up into, and they had this suit just made for him. Blaze, you should stand over there. I'll just do what I want. How about that? L Lily's obviously the the foremost expert on where people should stand, so I guess I'll just go ahead and play my flute over here. Will you blow the sun flute? Yes. I think we should wait until the sun has risen. Good call. Wow. So that was pretty cool. To be fair. I, li I like that effect. That was pretty cool. And some craziness is happening. Portals and such. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> He's just flying. So she wants to turn Nebby. Nebby evolved. And she wants to, like, turn it back into its original form. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why, exactly. Um... Because evolution is like a big part of this game. But what ends up happening instead is it evolves again into Solgaleo. And she couldn't be she couldn't be more thrilled. She's so happy. <laughs> Nebby, thank goodness you're alright. Please don't ever do that again. You made me worry so much. I never imagined that sounding the flutes would give you so much power, or let you evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Leo! Not in all of my reading, never did I come across any hint that you would evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Please, Sogaleo. How do you know its name? I don't know how it didn't tell you its name. No. Nebby, please, I need to go to where my mother is. We want to protect Alola, but there's no need for her to try to stop Necrozma all on her own. <laughs> Leona! Let's do this. This game does this it does this thing a lot. Well, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk during this scene. <laughs> Mr. Kuzma, but you were Mother as well? Uh oh. Just tossed him out. This is new. This is something that didn't happen in uh, the original game. Run away. That thing is a monster. Mother. That is Necrozma. The instant it woke, it flew into a rage and repelled everything that came near it. Lily, run from this place. You can't do anything. Don't tell me what I can't do. You don't even know me. Is this, is this me? I, am I telling the game what I'm doing? We can fight or I will protect her? Or am I, am I telling Lusamine that I'll protect Lily? I'm confused. I'll protect her, sure. I'll be the hero. Uh-oh. He is not happy. Oh, snap. This is some new stuff. I'm not used to all this. <laughs> What's she gonna do? She's like, no! Oh, snap. Oh, those portals. So... This is the infamous fusion of Necrozma and Sogaleo. Doot doo doo, just a kahuna. What did, what did he say? This disturbance I feel. This one's a rare visitor. What's Hao doing here? Perhaps I should leave this one up to you, my grandson. So Hao was not anywhere near this place. Did he go all the way back to hang out with his grandpa? Does he do that a lot? Did you come here as a guardian or just to battle? The other islands must surely be facing the same threat. I'm counting on you, my comrades. Is he Russian? No sense Russian to conclusions. Oh, snap, Buzzwole. Oh, no. He's not even phased. He's like, okay. That's new.
so I gotta be willing to clean all this up, huh? Great. Are we battling or what? Necrozma appeared? Okay, we're battling. Primarina, go! Um, I forget what I was going to say earlier, but I will say that this is more reminiscent now of... Um, oh, what was I going to say? It's So the, the, the original story was a little different, where you have, you have to go and fight... Um, uh, Lusamine actually gets fused with one of the one of the uh, Ultra Beasts, and you have to kind of fight her. Um, it's like totally different in that regard, except for the fact that I don't know why I'm using ice. Like I know that this water attack is going to work. I don't know why I'm using every other attack in the book, but anyway. So you have to fight Lusamine, and she she wants something, and you have to fight her, and then. Um, you end up beating her, and then she, I guess, is injured or something, and it, it, it's just really weird. Um, it was a little bit different from the other games, because in the other games, uh, all of the, like, bad guys, like Team Rocket and, uh, Team Flare, Team Magma, whoever it is, whatever team is out there, they all kind of did the same thing, where they were like, they were like, we want to awaken the legendary beast, and it's going to be cool. And then they awaken the legendary beast, and the legendary beast like just wants doesn't want to listen to them. And they're like, "Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen." I was like, well, "What do you think was going to happen?" So it's kind of like that with this game, where they do awaken a legendary beast, and and of course it doesn't obey them. So now they have to. Now they're like, "Oh man, I didn't know." It's a little bit different, but it's kind of the same. I just I just wish that the bad guy team would stop doing that. That's all. I just wish they would, they would just keep to themselves and not try to awaken any legendary beasts. Um, and just know that, you know, sometimes life's fine the way it is. <laughs> uh oh. Where are you going? Hey, come back with Solgaleo. Uh-oh. Now what? Oh, cool. Uh, Lola's light has been stolen by Necrozma. For the record, in my head, he's a robot. He, I don't think he's a robot, but in my head, he's a robot. It is only a matter of time before all of Alola is wrapped in such darkness. And I really loved Alola's light. It was so warm. But what are we to do now? It seemed to me that... Uh, it seemed to me like that beast, like Necrozma, was also suffering somehow. How, did you, how do you know its name is Necrozma? It seemed to hurt it, to be without its light. You would worry even for Necrozma? You're too kind, Lily. Far too kind. That is why you took Cosmoc as well, isn't it? You foolish, sweet child. <laughs> we will need your help. We need to be able to travel between worlds using the legendary Pokemon's power, just as you are able to do. You dare ask for our help now? Now's no time to be fighting, duels. Well, there is one thing I am curious about after witnessing that battle just now. Necrozma seemed quite distracted by that bracelet you wear. How do you know? You weren't even here, first of all. And secondly, it didn't seem distracted at all to me. I, I didn't see a look at my bracelet one time. That Z power ring, or didn't you think so? No, I didn't. You mean it wasn't Z-Crystals? It's true, Blaze. Has an awfully large number of Z-Crystals after coming so far in his island challenge. Yeah, that's true. Even more than dumb captains and kahunas and all, who just focus on one type. 
I see. So it is the Z crystals. And you. You were truly able to summon Solgaleo. Such an able trainer. A trainer like you might ride upon our Lunala to reach the world where Necrozma will be found. Yes, just as you people ride upon your Pokemon here in Alola. We call it the Ultra Warp Ride. If you want to go after Necrozma, you'll need to reach the White Warp Hole and go through it. That sounds reasonable. Any other Warp Hole will send you to a different world altogether. Perhaps you'll be able to save Necrozma. Perhaps. Is there... So where is this thing? Is it... Okay, I don't really know where you want me to go now. I guess you won't stop me. So tell me what to do. You're a real pain, kid. But go and give that thing a good beat down for me. And to think a trainer who Lily befriended would become the one to battle Necrozma. Please help Nebby, but also, if you can, try to help Necrozma as well. We all share our Pokemon. Do you want to ride on Lunala to try to reach the White Warp Hole? I'll do that. Sure. Why not? Lunala, help us out. <laughs> so I got Lunala in the last game in Pokemon Moon. Um, I don't know where they got it in this game, but that's alright. Oh, cool. I get... <laughs> I get new armor. <laughs> the character, the char main character in this game, by the way, never changes his facial expression. So, like, the most serious conversation will be going on, and he'll just be like, Yep. <laughs> With Ultra Warp Ride, you can ride on Lunala to travel through Ultra Wormholes. Try to reach warp holes that will lead you to other worlds. You'll use your system's motion sensors to control Lunala's flight path. I don't want to do that. Tilt the system up, down, left, and right to control the Pokemon. If your system's gyroscope gets stuck out of alignment and it isn't, it isn't reacting properly, move back to a neutral position and press A to reset the sensors. Lunala needs energy to fly through an ultra wormhole. Absorb round balls of energy and you will fly faster. This will also allow you to travel farther. But if you run into these electrifying obstacles, you will lose speed. The big hole is a warp hole. If you get too near to one, you'll be drawn towards it. Different warp holes lead to a variety of different worlds, depending on their color. How flashy a warp hole looks is based on how rare it is. There are four levels of rarity in total. Farther away and flashier the warp hole, the better your odds of meeting rare Pokemon. Absorb more and more energy and try to head to faraway warp holes. So they, they talk about this as being a, another way to shiny hunt in the game, which I will be utilizing at some point, but I don't want to utilize it exclusively. I want to do like the classic shiny hunting too. So rest assured, my channel will not. Uh, ah. What am I doing? Are you serious? Oh, it's, it's reversed. Left and right is reversed. Why? Why would you do this? Oh my gosh. I haven't even gotten one. Okay. This is not good. I don't even know what's going on right now. Okay. <laughs> I guess. I have no idea what's going on. A warp hole that is 730 light years away from where you were. It seems Necrozma is not in this world. But can I, can I explore at least? What is in this world? I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's Aldino. Alright. So, I guess I can try to catch it? Yeah, I can, I can try to catch it. Okay. Do hyper voice. Oh, I guess you get experience from this, too. Um, Aldino is a really good source of experience points, so...
Ouch. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try... Ultra Ball, I, or Great Ball, I guess. I don't have any Ultra Balls. I, I made some, some poor choices in this game and didn't buy any items. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff I just don't have. Cool. Ondino was caught. 4,000 experience. Lorantis leveled up and a couple others probably too. Well, not yet anyway. No nickname for Aldino. Send to a Pokemon box. And then... I guess that's it. Let's go back. Can I... Can I change the controls, though? Because I, I do not like those controls. Button mode. Battle style. I guess I can't. So I need to figure out what's going on. With, with these controls, so I, I'm going to have to do it a few more times anyway, so I guess I think what I was doing so I had the DS flat maybe I should hold it up like this maybe I, I just really don't know Okay, we're doing better. Way better. Whoa. Whoa. I don't want to go there. No, no, no. I need to get some more things, though. Whoa, no, no, no. Come on now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so this is Necrozma's place, probably. I will probably do that more and more often as time goes on, but that was, that was kind of interesting. Um, how'd you guys get here so quick? Welcome, resident of Alola. Solaria. Solera. I am Solera. I am a member of the Ultra Recon Squad. Necrozma returned from Alola. You will find it up ahead. It seems to be resting atop the tower. Our people have all fled indoors to safety. They fear it will fly into another rage as it did when that woman Lusamine appeared. Fico? So this is what the humans of Alola look like? I would quite like to investigate you further. What do you mean by investigate? <laughs> I'm Fico. I'm the captain of the Ultra Recon Squad. Now that it has found a source of light, Necrozma will regain its true power. But it cannot control its light in the broken form it was left in after it lost a part of itself. This power will only bring Necrozma more pain. We use the power of our technology to try to quiet Necrozma, just as we use our technology to try to provide this dark world of ours for, with some light. Necrozma and us ourselves, we have both suffered so many long years in this darkness, living, in a, living a life we did not wish for. Please, help us stop Necrozma. You will find it ahead of this place, atop the Megalo Tower. You said that before. Um, I was going to say something. Is there a sticker over there? No. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember what I was going to say. It probably wasn't important, but still. So you would truly go? Our Ultra mega Megalopolis was once a world filled with light. Necrozma was called the Blinding One, and it gave us all the energy we needed. And in fact, we were not the only ones who basked in its light. It traveled even to the distant world of Alola by passing through the Ultra Wormholes. But our ancestors grew too greedy, and they caused Necrozma to lose a part of its body. And this, in turn, made Necrozma run wild. Help it if you can, we beg you. Okay, are you going to talk to me again? I'm going to go in here. 
I like how that guy FICO was like, Yo, dude, I would not mind investigating you some more. <laughs> Let me get a good look at you, dude. I've never seen humans from another planet before. This is a weird staircase. Because <laughs> I want to look over that way, but I can't. Ah. Was that walk really even necessary? I guess it was kind of intense and kind of cool, but maybe not necessary. Uh-oh. What? What? <laughs> That's just so weird. Necrozma is studying you. It seems eager to do battle. I better save my game. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a problem, but I better save my game. Lie. Lie. Light. Are you are you talking to me? This is a really cool battle arena. Necrozma appeared for a second time. Oh, it's aura fl fl flared to life. It's got an aura now. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess. None of these will really work. I mean, this one will, I think. Photon Geyser. Oh, he's dead. Nobody healed me? This is the one time nobody healed me. Wow. Cool. Like, most of the time, they just can't even wait to heal your Pokemon. They're like, like, oh, did you just fight a trainer? Let me heal up all your Pokemon for you. And now, when it actually counts, they don't want to do it. Oh man, he's dead too. What? So I'm thinking he can only do that five times. Something tells me that move only has five power points. So I'm going to try to... I'm going to max revive here. I have five of those too, so... Ha! I'll get you. Oh, he's not using it this time. Cool. Um, Lorantis? Oh, you know what? I'm going to use Toxic. Because as long as I can just survive, Toxic will kill him. Like, there's nothing he can do about it. So... Unless he's Fairy-type. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Wow. Huh. Wow. Okay, so... Um... I need to heal up. I didn't know that was going to be super effective. I did not realize this, this Pokemon was going to take me out. I need to paralyze something. So we're going to max revive here. Photon Geyser. Was this number four? Nothing survives that. Like, what am I supposed to do? Lycan Rock, sure. I'm just gonna revive until until either I run out of revives or until you don't have any more of those items left. I don't want to use this strategy, but you're making me do this. I don't want to do this. But toxic it is. Power gem. Dang it. I literally can't win.
I want to Thunder Wave. Oh gosh, he's gonna he's gonna die again. Oh my gosh. So now I'm faster. But that also means I can't I can't paralyze or I can't poison anymore, so. I need to heal things up though. Uh, so Lazo's not doing me any good, so let's go ahead and go with, uh, two cannon, I guess? Maybe that'll work. Um, I don't know what he's going to do. What other attacks does he have? How's he still go first? He's paralyzed. Okay. Speed dropped, or attack dropped. That's that's kind of good. Smart strike. Oh, I do not like you at all. Okay, so... It's going to be another tough battle. Luckily, I have a lot of revives. So I didn't use any of them. Ha! Paralyzed. Ha! Can't move. And we'll go with... Uh... I'm going to go Lycanroc only because I want to do uh, Sand Attack. But I don't think it's going to matter anyway. Yeah, we get it. Rock attacks are good against flying. I get it. Let's go with uh, Primarina again. I don't think I have to worry about him KOing me right now. Oh, cool. He's paralyzed. That worked out. <laughs> worked really well. Of course, I don't think I killed him either. I knew, I knew he was going to have one HP left. I knew it. And I'm guessing, this is just a wild guess, but I'm guessing there's going to be a full restore of some kind. No? Alright, cool. Alright, well, I'll take that. Four thousand experience. Only two of my Pokemon got that experience, though. Oh, well. Ooh, he's so mad. I feel bad letting all my Pokemon get KO'd, but... It's fine. So where are we right now? Are we... How did we get out here? I guess we just left the the other world, I guess. Plot holes. Oh, she was already out there. My fault. I'm I'm like thinking about all kinds of I'm thinking about her going with me cuz she always wants to go with me. I thought she was there. Necrozma lost its light. It disappeared into another world. Oh. It will likely take some time, but eventually we may also be awash in light again. Like you all. My thanks to the people of Alola. My thanks to the light of the Z crystals. Necrozma took on that brilliant form once again and became Ultra Necrozma, thanks to you all. But now, Necrozma's lost its light once more and appears to have fled Alola. And your Solgaleo, weakened as it was, has also returned to your world. I am most grateful for all you have done, human, from the world of Alola. Let me check you out again, though. <laughs> Now, what is Poipole created a fuss for? Captain Fico, I believe that Poipole is showing an interest in this person from Alola. It seems to want to stay together with him. How fascinating. Does it perhaps seek to become stronger, or is there some other reason for its interest? According to what we have learned through our investigations, I believe that in your world, giving a Pokemon to another can be a way of demonstrating 
your feelings for them. FICO, chill, man. <laughs> it's cool. You don't have to demonstrate your feelings for me. I get it. It's okay. Besides, Poipole seems to want to go. Take it with you if you have no objection. I'd be happy. I'm not going to pass it up. I've never seen that Pokemon before. I, I almost would, would just like test fate and say no and see what happens, but not this time. I want this Pokemon. So, new Pokedex data. I think it's an Ultra Beast. Maybe it's just a Legendary. I'm not really sure. I think it's I think probably an Ultra Beast. So, yeah, this Ultra Beast is well enough liked to be chosen as a first partner in its own world. Oh, okay, so it's like a starter in its own world. Possibly. Interesting. Uh, no nickname. If you wish to return to the world of Alola, you may ride upon our Lunala. Though, I suppose you could also ride upon our Sogaleo. Which would you like to take? Um, what if I'm not ready? Hold on. Let me see. What, why, would they, why would they let me say that? Is there anything else over here? I don't think there is. Yeah, why, why would they let me say this? There's nothing else for me to get here. Okay, I'm ready to go. That was a waste. Sogaleo. Alright, we get to ride through the thing again. Come speak with me if you wish to change which Pokemon you will ride. Sure. Sure thing. Oh, I guess I just chose. <laughs> what? <laughs> look at that look at that face. He's just like, what's up guys? <laughs> What'd I miss? Impressive human of Alola. Uh, I did a voice. Impressive human of Alola. Thank you so much. While you were battling Necrozma in our Ultra Megalopolis, we were able to make some discoveries about the auras here in Alola. The auras of Alola came from Necrozma. They're the remnants of the light it emitted long ago. These auras must have been particularly strong at the trial locations, and the Z power for the Z moves. It is also similar to the auras of the totem Pokemon. Both came to Alola as Necrozma's light. You are such a powerful trainer. Maybe you can return the light to Necrozma without having it run wild. As a sign of thanks, we'll continue to share our, our Lunala with you. Use the Ultra Warp Ride to explore many new and different worlds. No doubt you will find amazing Pokemon. So hard to do that voice. I think we will stay here in Alola for a while. It is particularly overflowing with Z power. It would be good for us to really experience life here. Maybe even do our own island challenge. Ooh, ooh, I want to become friends with a Diglett. <laughs> a Diglett. So for people who don't know, if you're just joining, uh, in my mind, Dulce is a robot. That's why he has that voice. Lily, it seems you were right. Right to feel hurt by the suffering of Pokemon. Right to take Cosmog away. No, I just... The one who really did everything was Blaze, not me. Well, I mean, you you made me, kind of. Here, you should take these Beast Balls. Put out your hand. Thanks. You open up the items, pocket, and put the Beast Balls away. Those are special Pokeballs that we developed with the Ultra Recon Squad's help to capture Ultra Beasts. I know I can trust leaving them in the hands of a trainer like you. With its light stolen from it, Cosmog is... No. Sogaleo is weak. We will take it back to Paradise to care for it. Lily, you will help also. Alright. Of course I will. Why are you so mad, Guzma? Maybe when you bring out the beast in others... Or the best in others... <laughs> It helps you find the best in yourself, too, huh? I don't really have a consistent voice for him. I just figured that would fit. Um, Blaze, 
I know I couldn't do anything to really help, but I was always on your side. You and your Pokemon side. I got the chance to finally talk with my mother. About a lot of things, really. I think I understand a little better now. Blaze, you saved Necrozma and the people of that world, and all of us, too. You gave us all the chance to smile again. If you see his face right now, he's just like, what? Look at him. I'm going to go back to Paradise for a bit to help Nebby recover, but... Please do your best on your island challenge. Have I not been? Doing my best? Okay, so... What you, oh, this is... What's her name? This is Mina. Please, Alola, Alola. I got curious because I saw the altar go all dark, but I guess you took care of all that, huh? I like how um, we played the flutes in the daylight. Like, we waited for the daylight to play the flutes. And then after the flutes were played, it went back to nighttime. That was a long battle, I guess. But I'm not going to let you take all the good parts. I'm a captain, too, you know. So why don't you see if you can beat my trial? If you're ready to try, just come by my house. It's in Seafolk Village. Or yeah, I guess I could just come with me. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go together. Let's get this show on the road. Can you heal my Pokemon though first? Because everybody else does that. And I really want you to do that too. Everyone else is just like, Oh, you took 10 damage? Let me heal your Pokemon for you. Totem sticker. 63 totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> What's that? Nothing out here? It was this Snubble here that first set our girl down the path to becoming a serious artist. When she showed Snubble a picture she'd drawn of it, this little fellow chewed, <laughs> chewed that drawing to shreds in his delight. But Mina misunderstood and thought that Snubble had torn it up because it was bad. Wow. But how do you know? Like, how do you know it was Delight? This is like the one Pokemon you can't really interact with. I'm going to save. Save my game here. I kind of feel like I should go buy some stuff because I don't have anything good right now. Let's do that. I feel like I should probably be a little bit more uh, prepared here. Oh, another totem sticker. 64 totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. Pokemon Center is so far away. Gosh. Bum, bum, bum. I wonder what her trial is going to be. I wonder if she wants you to like draw stuff. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know why I did that. I wanted to buy stuff. I do have to select another Pokemon before I go fight the, uh, the final challenge. I don't know who it's going to be, but I need another Pokemon. You have a Z crystal for the vast pony cannon canyon. So I need to buy Ultra Balls for sure. Fifty is probably a good number. I could definitely use some full restores. Thirty of those. Uh what about revives? Just a couple of revives. I have twelve, I'm gonna get ten more. Um, I can go with, like, Max Potion or something, or maybe Hyper Potion. Just in case. Might, it might be more handy than Full Restore. Full Restore also heals any status ailment, so, you know, might want to hold on to those. Alright. Is this where I need to be? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to save the game again. Because that was a long... <laughs> that was a long walk. I don't want to do that again. Alright, Mina. Since you were basically absent from the original game, let's see what you have to say. I take it you're ready to take my trial, right? You did come to my house, like I said, after all. I mean, you invited me over, you know. So, yeah. Uh, that's not why I'm here. <laughs> then why would you be here? Heh <laughs> Let the trial of Mina begin. 
trial start. I guess I've got to tell you what you need to do. You have to battle me. That's exactly what I did. Oh my gosh. I don't think it's any different. Uh. Uh, send out Mawile. Mawile. So in the last, in the last game, there was a situation that came up where you had to like, you had to like go capture Ultra Beasts or, or like one of the Ultra Beasts got loose or something. You had to go like, you had to go to some part of town and defeat it or something or some part of the world. And Mina's trial, like, Mina actually came up and you hadn't beaten her trial yet, so she talked to you about it. And she basically just battled you, and that was it. So the trial is basically the same thing. It's just battle her. Mm. A little upset by that. But I will, uh, I will talk about it in my full review of Pokemon Ultra Sun, which will be coming up once I finish this game. Granbull, um, uh, let's switch. Salazzle's poison type. Poison is super effective against, uh, all, um, fairy types. Intimidate. My attack fell. Yeah, so... I'm pretty close to the end of this game. I think there's only a couple more things I have to do. It's not even that much. Um, I do have to replace two Pokemon on my team. Did not expect that to happen, by the way. That's weird. Did not expect that to happen. It's probably fine, though. Um, but yeah, a couple things I have to do. And then once I finish the game... We'll go to the... Elite Four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, she thinks she's really good. She's not. She has three Pokemon. Ribombi. Um. Yeah. I think Ribombi's a, a flying type, which is weak to electricity, so we'll get this out there. Take it out. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess it's not. Because it's also bug type, it's not... Oh, this will, that'll be fine. We'll just use this power gem. Pollen off. <laughs> so this will be the easiest uh, trial I faced so far, really. Um, which is kind of, it's very anticlimactic because after fighting Necrozma, it's like, well, this really isn't that bad. Necrozma is a much, a much more difficult challenge. Much larger challenge, I should say. I'm shocked at your strength. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I can't be... That's fair. Looks like you've had some kind of island challenge. So I read that wrong. <laughs> so I'm, I'm reading it like... Looks like you've had some kind of island challenge or something. But really what she's saying is... Looks like you've had some kind of island challenge. Since you managed to beat me though, I'll give you this pink petal as proof. You don't have a... You don't have a Z-Crystal? It's a good start, but you only just begun my real trial. Now you have to go around to all the captains in Alola and get a pedal from each one of them. Oh, that's... Oh, come on. That's different, I guess. So what, what do I do, then? <laughs> Let's see. Lima's on Route 2? All right, let's fly around Alola. Fetch quest. Sounds super fun. At least it's not an escort quest. Uh, was this route? 
I'm not sure what Route 2 is. Eeky Town? Route 1 up here? Route 3? There it is. Sure. There's like six other trial captains, so I have to go to all six. <sighs> Did not expect to do any of this today. It's fine, though. Is he at least going to be inside his, his trial or near it? I'd hate to go in here and he's just not here at all. And there's things that are going to try to attack me now. Oh, man. I'm not, I'm not thrilled about this, just so you know. I'm definitely not excited. Like, I mean, at least she has a trial, but, like, this is definitely not the kind of trial I, I would have wanted her to have. Ah! Just can't win. It's Young Goose. So I always, uh... Whenever I see Young Goose, I always think of, like, um, like a rapper. I don't know why. I think of, like, like Young Jeezy or something like that. And I always think that he's, like, he's DJ Young Goose. <laughs> and in my mind, it's so hilarious. Diglett. His new album coming out on the 23rd. All right, please, please be up here. I don't want to travel through all these, all these areas, and then you're not even up here. That'd be terrible. Bum, 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 bum. So I'm running because these Pokemon won't really provide much experience. I'm just running away from them. Because I really don't want to do the fetch quest in the first place. So there's that. And of course he's not up here. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Cool. Always I get to get this thing. TM46, thief. I wonder if I missed anything. I don't see anything else though. I thought maybe there's like a sticker or something, but... Let's fly back over to the Pokemon Center. Maybe there's something over here. Is he... No? I mean, where is he? Like... I'm not even in the grass right now. Oh my gosh. Ekans. Ekans. Intimidate. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to fight you anyway. I think I should use a repel and just be done with, with fighting wild Pokemon right now. I just feel like I'm going to catch, I'm going to fight something that I haven't seen before or haven't caught before. So I don't want to like disable battles. I don't see this guy. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I guess I can get this thing, whatever's over here. Oh, I already did. Never mind. So... Does this thing even know? We're collecting petals? This sounds like a nice, relaxing trial for once. Are you kidding? I really don't think my Pokedex knows what relaxing is. This is definitely not relaxing. This is the opposite. This is like, I just want to be done. Can we just, can we just be done? Hey, look, sticker I missed. 65 totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. Well, I can fish in this one now.
bum, 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 bum. 66 totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so... I've not seen Lima at all. You know, he really could have given me this pedal when I first beat him. He didn't have to wait till now. That would have been cool. But now I've, I've pretty much traveled everywhere and I don't see this thing. I don't want to use a guide for this. I think she said the trial, the, the trial guide can tell me where it is. He's like way up here. So maybe that'll be the quick way to get out all the things I need. I just, ah, uh. he's like, he's like right there. I almost didn't recognize you. You practically look like a different person than the kid who took on Lima's trial back then. He's off in the cemetery. Okay, great. Can I fly there? Iki Town. You know, I don't think it's over here. I think it's... Hold on. Battle Royal Dome. Brooklyn Hill, Lush Jungle. Where's the cemetery? Uh, it's over here. No. No. Where is this thing? I think it is actually there. Maybe? Um, no. No. I thought it was on this island, but I can't remember. No, it's definitely not. What did he just say? I I talked to this guy again. I can't believe this. I can't believe you've done this. He's off in How Oli. How Oli Cemetery. So that. Where's How Oli? Wheeler Park, La Jungle Route 8. Panyoli Town. Here, here, City. <laughs> what is going on? <sighs> so I'm really mad that I can't find this cemetery. You think I know where it is? I feel like it's on this island because I don't know why he'd leave this island. But I don't see it. Oh, it's right there. I see. Okay. I'm being totally ridiculous right now. I'm sorry about that, folks. We'll get back on track here. I don't know why I was being so, like, I was overthinking that way too much. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I did not want to fight anything. Repels. Repels are your best friend. Uh, let's go with run. Got to get out of here. Like... I don't want to fight him again either. I hope he's not going to make me fight him again. Oh, I just passed it. So 
So it's like up here, and you have to go around this way. And that's it. Be at the entrance, please. What? Rar. I know you're happy that we beat Lima and all, but you've still got to wait for me, partner. Oh, hey, Blaze. I heard the news from Gladian, you know? Savior of Alola, huh? Heh <laughs> heh. I'm glad I got to see out... Set out on my island challenge together with such an awesome trainer. Hey, thanks, buddy. I'm not slacking off either. It's good to have fun in battle, sure. But losing a battle because all you're really doing is having fun as well... You can't let down your Pokemon when they're fighting their hardest for you, now can you? If you're a gym leader, you let your Pokemon down all the time because people just beat you. So, I don't know what to tell you. Right, Incineroar? Rawr. I know you want to win, and I'm going to make sure that happens. And here, Blaze, have a Max Elixir. You should go ahead and use one when battle, battle is dragging on and on. That's never happened to me. When we're both done with our island challenges, we should have a serious battle. You and me. Pokemon and their trainers have got got to have their hearts in the same place if they're going to win in battle. That's the way to really have a blast together. Uh, yeah. Sure. Did I not come over here the first time? I don't think I did. There's like two different cemeteries. I did not come over here the first time. Captain Lima here. Seems you've collected a great number of Z-Crystals. You're positively shining. It's important to always shine. You know, I've traveled the world since I was young with my mother. She's an actress on the stage, you see. I'm doing so. In doing so, I came to realize something. I realized how beautiful my mother was when she dedicated herself completely to the role she was performing on stage. Yes, it is moving to see such complete dedication to anything. The brilliance of the Z-Crystals, the gleam of totem, stickers... In my role as captain, I just want to do my part to make everyone shine. But let's set all that aside. You're here for me this trial? Allow me to check how strong you've become. No thanks. Understood. I just want the thing. Oh, I have to fight him. Fine. In a sense, this is a trial for B as well. A trial to see if the strategy I've thought up will work. I knew this was going to happen. I knew I was going to have to battle these guys. Alright, Lima. Gumshoes. Gumshoes. Alright, so I think I'll be able to get all of the uh, trial stickers, at least. And then from there, I'll probably have to sign off for the night. And I'll, I'll, I'll dedicate myself to getting all of those today. On this episode. Uh, so I don't have to do it next time. I don't want to do it on, on tomorrow's episode. That sounds awful. So I'll just do it now. Boom. Gumshoes. Deads. Deads. He's not dead. He's fainted. But still. Um, I didn't realize I needed to heal my Pokemon up. We'll go with Lycanroc, I guess. Dude, 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 dude. Comatose. Uh, rock slide probably be okay. He avoided the attack, you jerk. Woodhammer's like super effect. Oh man. <laughs> that did not work like I thought it was gonna work. Rock slide. Mala fainted. So. Smeargle's out. Um, I love Smeargle. Smeargle's one of my favorite Pokemon. I use him a lot for shiny hunting. I really... Oh, great. He's got such potential to have really any moves in the game. It's really cool. Um, the downside to, to Smeargle is that his attack power is not very good. Like, his t attack power is, like, super low. So, that's the downside to Smeargle. But everything else, if you just want to get a couple of decent moves, like Flamethrower is a great move to put on him. Um, 
I mean, obviously he didn't kill me, but... Oh, I didn't use... Oh, dang it, I didn't use Ampharos. I could have got 12,000 instead of 6,000. Oh, well. Uh, you know you and your Pokemon have become quite a delightful team. Please take this orange petal. It has a definite warmth to it, just like me. <laughs> okay. Just like me. Now, it seems you have two petals. Would you like to see what happens when you've collected all seven? Man, you could have given me this like a long time ago and saved me a bunch of time. You know how has been out on Mahalo Trail doing nothing but training and has improved a good deal. For now, though, should I see you to the next captain? Yes. Take me there. Lush Jungle. It's been a while since I visited Akala. Oh, you're the best. I still remember the frightful shock of that special dish. I hope you have the stomach for what you will face here, Blaze. I'm sure I do. I'm not worried. I'm going to go heal up, though. Because, while I'm sure I could beat her, I don't want to die at this point. That'd be embarrassing. Whew. Probably lose a bunch of followers at that point. Like, I, I, would, I would stop following me if that happened. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't, because I have a cool personality, and uh, I, I would just stick around. You know, you never know. You never know what I'm going to say or get into. I don't even know what I'm going to say half the time. All right, so is this where I need to go? Collecting greens for cooking? It's Lush Jungle. She's in here, so... Is that her? Where are you going? Come back. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Dang it. I don't want to fight anything. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. I tried to sneak by while that Pokemon was running away. I knew that was going to happen. Darn it. Just going to run because I don't need to fight anything right now. And got to keep going. Okay. So I think she's up here. I don't know why she'd go up here and get herself into trouble. She knows this area. And she has Pokemon. Why would she get herself into trouble? In fact, she probably has level 50 Pokemon. What? What's going on? Ah, aromatherapy. I feel so relaxed whenever Comfy hits me with it. Like all my worries just melt, waft away. Are you sure... You should relax quite so much, Mallow. I quite like it when you're full of energy. You're much less likely to be startled by an unexpected visitor when you are. Hey, can we just battle? Blaze! Just want to battle. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> when did you get here? Not that it matters. I was just trying to get closer to my Pokemon to see what kinds of special dishes they might like me to make for them. That's all. Like I thought, true relaxation might be out of the question for you, my spry mallow. That's Lana said that. I can still relax. You know I can, right, Blaze? Heh. <laughs> oh, jeez, you two. I'll show you. I'll prove it in battle. Hold on a second. Why should I? I want to have a battle. Oh, I, th I thought I was saying... <laughs> I thought I was making fun of her. I didn't. I wasn't telling her to wait a second. I wanted to battle her now. <laughs> now that my Pokemon have me feeling all relaxed, take out, take our all-out attack. Not worried about it. All right, Captain Mallow. That background's pretty cool. Trevenant. Uh, Pre-Marina is not the best choice for this, because water types and all. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use... Icy something? Icy Wind? I'm 
I'm gonna try not to switch out here, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna He's gonna get the KO. Yeah. I need to switch. Especially since that attack was pretty good. Um let's go with Salazzle. Flamethrower ought to do the trick. I like fighting these these trial captains though. I, I don't I don't have any problem fighting these captains. It's just not what I wanted to do right now. <laughs> it's not the trial that I wanted to be on, I guess. <clears throat> oh good oh you ain't dead yet. Darn it. Leech seed. not going to help you. Flamethrower. We got it. Serena. Keep battling. Another, another grass type Pokemon coming out. Nothing to worry about there. Probably a one hit KO on this one. Yep. I knew it. And next up we've got Shinotic. <laughs> Flamethrower. To the rescue. Ah. Oh. oh, you would put me to sleep, you jerk. You're just prolonging the inevitable. Like you know what's gonna happen, right? Still gonna beat you. Still gonna do it. Just gonna take me a few extra turns. It's fine though. As long as you feel good about yourself. Yeah, you know that Blaze guy? Totally put him to sleep. It was hilarious. Come on. Wake up. Uh, wake me up before you go, go. Leave me hanging on like a yo yo. Wake up. Good. We did it. Good night, Mallow. That was fun. <laughs> so now I gotta find the other trial captain, which I think is Lana. When it comes to you and your Pokemon, the quality of the ingredients shines forth. She looks so sad. Look at her mouth. She's like angry sad. Sang sad sangry. Ang angrid. Angrad. I lost. Guess now I'll have to get my grass type Pokemon to make me feel all better again. What is she? What does she mean by that? I, I don't want to know. This is a family channel. <laughs> Take this green petal. I'm only giving it to you because you're doing Mina's trial, though, not because I'm trying to get you to keep secret what you saw here. I didn't see anything. Uh, she's been weird. <laughs> what does she do here? Did you know the blue petal is the same shape as one of Wishy Washy's scales? Cool. But I didn't fight you. Why are you giving me the petal? You're going to Kiawi's place next. Do you want to go to Wella Volcano with two pretty pals like us? Uh, you bet I do. Let's go. <laughs> pretty much no is the other option. And he's like, nope. <laughs> I don't see any pretty girls. <laughs> Please, I'm glad we could travel together like this. Please, have a good time with Kiawi. How about a bubble beam from a Awakunid? Aqu Aqu Aquanid. I'm not sure how I feel about this part, because I feel like they're trying to get me to go through all these trials, right? And go fight the trial captains, which is great, except for the fact that... Um, whoops. Except for the fact that I didn't even have to. I didn't have to fight Lana, so I don't know why I'm being, I'm, I'm bothering fighting K 
Kiawe at this point because Lana didn't want to fight me. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, you're the hiker? Best hiker. <laughs> Thank you for filling in for me while I was away, my good hiker. You never even have to ask, bro. Nothing better than dancing up here on the volcano with my main Marowak and you. That's exactly the sort of intense training that made me who I am today. That's why I was thinking that you might be a good candidate to become the captain for me, after me. I think you should let someone who really wants to be captain take the job. I'm not the type who can help trial goers or the Marowak live up to their potential. Because all I really want to do is bust a move. Bust a move. You're here for Mina's trial? Would you like to burn in battle? I guess I don't really have a choice. Being thrilled by an opponent's excitement, nothing makes me want to battle more. The very first Pokemon coming out is uh, Primarina. And he's going to murder your Pokemon, just so you know. Like, no remorse. Like, not even, not even apologetic. Like, your Pokemon are dead, basically. Ooh, Intimidate. Oh no. I didn't think he'd be first. Flare Blitz is pretty strong, but I was able to hold on, so that's good. <clears throat> I'm going to heal up. It's a really tight spot to be in right there. So Lazzle. Talon Flame. Let's keep battling. And... Where is the Hyper Potion? Oh, is that it? Oh, I didn't, I didn't buy Max Potions. I bought Hyper Potions. I thought I bought Max Potions. This is fine, though. Sparkling Aria. I mean, at least... At least the other trial captains take you to the next trial captain, which is kind of cool. I thought for sure they wouldn't do that. So at least they do that. Lorantis. Oh, I just keep battling. I gotta do... Use one of my full restores. Shadow Bone. I thought that'd be not very effective, but that's fine. Because I thought that uh, being Fairy type, Ghost type moves would or Dark type moves would not work as well. That's okay. Kiawi. Good night. Not enough dancing. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody. Alola. Oh, I got to fight you too? This hiker just gets in the way. Did not see this coming, by the way. Magmar. Sparkling Aria. He just really wanted attention, I think. I, th I think he just really wanted, like, someone to pay attention to him. You had me dancing to your tune, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. My hiker friend was so pleased by your right answer that he simply had to battle you. Can't stop myself from wanting to dance. I'm just not the type who should be a captain. You were spectacular. You were so spectacular that I will give you this flaming hot red petal. What if I wasn't spectacular? Would you still give me the red petal? That's the only thing I wanted to come to get from here. The energy that burns through Wella Volcano burns through us all. 
If you're hoping to complete Mina's trial, you should go to the observatory next. Yeah, let's go. That'll save me some time. It's the only stone's throw away when Charizard is one of your ride Pokemon. Give my regards to Sophocles, Blaze. <laughs> he better be in here. If he's not in here, ooh. You're making me so mad. Cool. Sophie, I guess this will this will be a goodbye for a little while. Big Mo, I just talk. Now, Safi, when you're saying goodbye to someone who is important to you, you got to show them one last smile. That's what the old, that old friend of mine always said. Anyway, back when we did our island challenge. <laughs> hey, Blaze, thanks again for doing what that favor for me before. Sure seems like you've gotten to see some interesting things in your island challenge. It's been quite the experience for you. I know, why don't you two have a little battle now while I can still watch? I've got to show Big Mo how strong I can be. I did say that we should battle next time, right? Let's go. No sense in dilly-dallying. I believe in my Pokemon's strength. I train them together with Big Mo, after all. It's Captain Sophocles. And Togedemaru. So I don't really have anything that's... I guess I have... I mean, I guess this will probably work. But he's going to be super effective on me. So yeah, I thought that was going to happen. That's okay, though. Had a feeling that was going to be the result. Um... No. This is... Probably my best bet. Although Lorantis probably wouldn't be bad either. No, wow. Is he steel type too? Really? Wow. So I got it. Okay. I did not realize he was also steel type. I thought he was just electric type. So all of the normal attacks I would use were not would not work with him. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Salazzle. And we'll have to go switch out again. Ampharos, come on back. So he might die. She might die. Oh, she's good. Okay. Just be faster. That's all I want you to do. Cool. Die? Yeah. I say die. I don't mean die. I don't want any Pokemon to die. That'd be kind of sad. I want all the uh, a Pokemon to be good, to live. Oh no. Would this? That'd probably be okay. I think Golem is part rock type. I know Primarina will do a nice number on him, but I wanted to see if the grass type will work too. And this is probably better because the electricity that he might send out would not hurt as much. So hopefully, cool, we got it. Stone Edge. Ooh, still kind of hurt, I guess. Super effective! Lycanroc level 57. We're going to switch back to Salazzle. Back to life. Back to reality and flamethrower it up on this steel type Pokemon pretty sure his special defense is like super low so should be a KO yes we did it Captain Sophocles don't worry about it my precious Pokemon <laughs> That was amazing, Blaze. You know about as much about Pokemon battling as Big Mo. You both did very well. I'm looking forward to seeing how far you both will make it in the future. 
Safi, the observatory is all yours now. Big, big Mo! <laughs> Q. Big Mo. <laughs> Blaze, you came from Mina's trial, right? Here's your yellow petal. This would be a really cool, cool looking flower. I can do this. No, I will do it. I'm a tough kid. I'm a tough kid. You gonna be okay? Yeah, he'll come back. It's not forever. He said that he had something he had to do for Professor Kukui, after all. You've got to finish me this trial, right? Do you want me to take you to the next stop? Yes, please. Let's go to Ether House, then. Because I really do not want to have to... Huh. <laughs> Walk here myself. I would. I wouldn't even know where to go. Walking across Ula Ula Island really makes you feel how big it is, doesn't it? Good luck with Mina's trial. Thanks, bud. I'm gonna heal up first, though, cause I just have a bad feeling about this next part. At least if I don't heal up, rather. If I if I do, I'll be fine. But if I don't, I have a bad feeling. Bum, 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 bum. But we should be good. I can't even remember what. This is a ghost type one, I think. Yeah, it's probably most definitely a ghost type trial. Which I'm cool with. You could say she doesn't stand a ghost of a chance. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, it's you. Look, kid. About what happened with Necrozma, I guess I should... Thanks. I'm saying thanks, okay? Hey, if it isn't Blaze and Guzma, what are you two doing together? The Kahuna's grandson, huh? We're not doing nothing. <laughs> Heal me up before you go, go. Oh yeah, I've got something I wanted to ask you, Guzma. That Galissapod you've got. Huh? This dude? Yeah, he's been with me since before I started out on my island challenge. My partner. There ain't nobody in team school can beat my Galissapod. The rest of my team, too. I met them all during my island challenge and trained them up as good as anything. Not that any of that matters now. So you got to meet your Pokemon partners by doing the island challenge and made some really great friends, too, huh? Friends? You know, everybody in Team Skull. They all really love Guzma after all, right? Nah, they hate me. You'll meet Pokemon and people on your journey that'll enrich your life. Is that it? Jeez, you really are Hol Hollow's grandson. Who knows? Maybe kids like you can make the Island Challenge actually mean something again. Here, I don't need this anymore. Grip Claw. Where are we going? <laughs> Come back. Oh, here it comes again. The winds of Alola are blowing again, bringing some new change. Just you wait, Guzma. I'm going to outdo even the Kahunas. And I'm going to make sure everybody knows they can be something great whether they choose to do the island challenge or not. He's way gone. Why are you still yelling? You didn't fail to become a captain, Guzma. No matter what you think. So go become something else. Something that nobody else has ever managed to be. Blaze, consider this your last warning. I told you before, but once we both finish up our island challenges, we're going to have a serious battle. You and me. Okay. Message received. Heal me up. <laughs> oh. You've got to at least learn the moves. Someday you'll be able to use Darkinium Z, too. Rar, like that, right? If I can get stronger, maybe Ace Rolla wouldn't have to worry when she leaves Ether House. Oh, you boy, finishing up your island challenge? Is that it? Suppose I had to take you and take you on in Ace Rolla's place, huh? But that boy Howe got me good when I tried battle at 
to battle at about Ace Roller's level, so I don't feel much like bothering again. Here, just take it. Ace Roller left me with some of these, so have one. Cool. I didn't want to do that anyway. You should go tell that young Philomena that you're done with what she asked you to do. I will do that. I'll use those exact words. Thank you. Thank you. Right here. So I'm kind of I'm, I'm upset that first of all they even had you do that in the first place, and that part of that challenge was to fight the gym leaders or to fight the uh, the trial captains again or for the first time. But at the same time, they didn't make you fight all of them. Like I feel like that was really lazy. Um. But oh well, you know. I'm not gonna be upset. Welcome back, Blaze. Was everything doing okay? We captains love getting to see how kids like you and your teams grow. Trial goers and those of us who watch over the trial goers, we all get to share that joy with our Pokemon, you know? Alright then, let me the seven petals you collected for a second, would you? <laughs> he puts it in the air, and then she takes it out of the air. Here you go. One rainbow flower. I made it from the petals you got from everybody. That is pretty cool looking, actually. I like that. But what does it do? So then, where's that totem Pokemon? This is the final totem Pokemon for the final trial of your island challenge. Hope you're ready for the toughest totem yet. What is it? Is it a Jigglypuff? <clears throat> Bombi! La da 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 Bombi! La da 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 Bombi! So I keep getting copyright flagged on YouTube. Um, I'd like to think it's because I'm singing songs, <laughs> but it's probably not because of that. Quiver dance. Everything rose. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. I definitely need to use. Um, <laughs> something else. This isn't going to work. Let's try a uh, Moon Blast and see what that does. Moon Blast. Right here on Pelipper. Pelipper. Oh gosh. Everything rose. He's already got like better stats too, so that's not going to work out for me. It's going to be a long battle. Just because I, I, I have I, like moves that are super effective, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull them off. Moon Blast. Stop doing that. You just don't want me to win. Oh, gosh. And I, I'm almost positive there's going to be a... Uh, a full restore, some craziness, or some some recovery move that I don't know about yet. I almost promise that's going to happen. It's ally Pokemon. Oh great, Blissey. Blissey's also a fairy type. That's not going to do anything. I just realized. No. Here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to use Toxic on the Ribombi. That might work. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> great. Okay. Fire and Poison. not what I really want to do right now, but I need to use it. 
he's probably dead again. I don't think I'm going to survive this one. Oh no, Bug Buzz is like... Okay, we're good. I thought it was going to be worse than that, but it's alright. So he's gonna get, he's gonna get double double the poison damage like every single turn. I don't even have to worry about him again anymore. So should be fine. Even draining kiss like that's fine. And that's good against uh, fairy types. I thought. I guess not. That's fine. It's not a big deal. He's going to keep taking double the poison damage every single turn, so I don't have to worry about Rebombi. Uh, Blissey is going to keep helping, and that's going to be a problem, but not right now. Critical hit. Ouch. Uh, let's go with uh, Lorantis, I guess. Uh, this might this might work. I don't know. Well, he's also he's got bug buzz. I just realized that's not going to do much. One bug buzz is all it's going to take. With a helping hand. Lorantis is dead. That was a mistake, though. I should I should have used the opportunity to heal, uh, knowing that that was going to happen. Ampharos, sure. Ampharos! Thunder Punch on the Blissey. There it goes again. Oh my gosh. It's I, I gotta be in heal mode now. I can't do anything else. Max Revive ought to do it, probably. I'm sure I have one. Right? No? Uh, regular Revive is probably fine. Go with Primarina here. Ouch. So the strategy's not bad. Having Blissey heal up and having this uh, Totem Rebombi do some real damage is pretty crazy. I'm just going to keep using Revive and uh, since I know that... Well, let me go ahead and use Hyper Potion here. At least maybe try to stay alive. Maybe that'll work. I'm sure it will. It's gonna go on for all. This is gonna go on for days. Ah, oh, I knew it was gonna happen. I thought maybe he just survived, but I guess not. Well, you're dead. Luckily, two cannon is left over. He'd probably be okay to take on this Pokemon by himself, but I'm gonna revive just to make sure that uh, I don't have any more issues down the line. I know she's still got, like, a couple of, uh, like, healing moves and stuff, which is fine, but it's not going to be a, not gonna be a big deal. There it is! 5,000 experience, goodness. That was a pretty powerful strategy, though. I was cool with it. Totem Rabombi! Hey, look at that. She thinks I'm a work of art. That's a pretty great picture. You and your Ampharos. You didn't just beat the captains to get all their petals. You even beat the totem Pokemon that came to check out the rainbow flower we made. You're just too great, Blaze. You're a great Pokemon trainer. Here you go. A piece of Ferium Z. I didn't really fight all the totem cap the trial captains, though, so it's not really fair to say that I beat them all.
I'll take it, sure, but it's not really fair. Trial complete. That was the last trial. I'm really excited about that last trial. <laughs> What's she doing? You finished all your trials. The thing, the only thing left for you to do is your grand trial. It'll be little Hapu's first grand trial. That's pretty exciting. Thank you, I think. But at this point in the game, they've not really talked about what the grand trial is yet. You did an admirable job completing Mina's trial. Meaning, grand trial time? Yep, it's time for your grand trial. I'll wait for your arrival on Executor Island. So the time has come for you to wrap up your island challenge. I even had an all-out battle against Hao, holding nothing back. And I was defeated in spectacular fashion. Did he do this before me? The island challenge helps you all grow, and you in turn will help Alola keep changing. I can't imagine anything more delightful. Huh. I'm not sure if I like where this is going. Because I don't have the Pokemon team that I want. I'm basically just going to, like, revive my way through the game. So, I mean, I'm cool with it. I just don't want this team, necessarily. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video right there. Um, I'm going to save the game, step outside, save the game. Um, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out today and um, watching me play through Pokemon Ultra Sun Part 12. I'll be back tomorrow with Part 13, where we pick up right where we left off and finish off the Grand Trial. Uh, but once again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button, whatever, whatever buttons you see that are good. Hit those buttons. If you see a thumbs down button, I mean, I guess you can hit that, but I'd prefer that you don't. <laughs> but either way, no matter what you do, I do want to thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Uh, have a great night, guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Um, have a great Friday tomorrow. And I will catch you on the flippity flip.